Hi guys, hi friends, welcome to a whole vibe. Thank you so much for your subscriptions. Thank you, I appreciate them. If you haven't subscribed, please go ahead and subscribe. Hit the subscription button, show me some love. Don't forget to hit the notification bell so that you're notified every time I post the video. So make sure you find that notification bell and click on it. Thank you so much, thank you. Like I said, if you haven't subscribed, go ahead and subscribe. Because here at A Whole Vibe, we're all about embracing, celebrating, and appreciating Africa and Africans through interviews and reviews. So you don't want to miss that train. Go ahead and subscribe. Marato Luis. We are the brave. We are the bold. We can be anything. In today's video, I bring an exclusive interview with Botswana's leading a uh, fashion icon, globally recognized, an accountant, a stylist, a fashion premier, multiple business owner, a mother, a wife, a travel enthusiast, Charity Bai. A badass. Yay. Hi, Charity. How are you? Hi. Welcome. Welcome to Whole Vibe. Hello. Thank, thank you very much for honoring our invite. Thank you for making time for us. Thank you for having me. Thank you. Very it's so nice to finally meet you. It's very. I, I'm. I'm excited. I'm trying to compose myself. Like I'm sitting next to Charity. How crazy is that? Yeah. Let's start. So uh, my first question is, Charity, you stay looking beautiful. You stay looking beautiful. What's your secret? Uh, no particular secret, guys. Just get enough sleep. Uh, stay stress-free and just be happy. That's it. Be happy. You heard it. Be happy. Smile through every challenge. I know. Yeah. I so Charity, you are an accountant and you were in that um you worked in the business sector for four years yeah. before venturing into the fashion industry. Mm -hmm. So what I want to know is was that the plan, you know, to go and work for four years, nine to five, for four years, then leave that for fashion or did it happen along the way? That was never the plan. I always thought I was gonna have uh, a career on the corporate sector, you know, because you know academically I was doing really well. So I imagined that you know I'm gonna be somewhere. Yeah, you know, a doctor. You know, specifically in the banking industry. Oh, yeah. Yeah, but well, life took its course and. Stuff happened and I just decided to venture into entrepreneurship. And you embraced it and you're doing so well. Thank you. So what inspired Material Girls? What inspired you opening materials and really the name? Why Material Girls? Okay. Uh, I've always loved fashion. Yeah. I've always been a fashion girl. Um since ever since a very young age. So naturally when I started material girls, it was more of like a hobby. I was playing around, people were asking questions about my clothes, where I get them to see. So I was like, you know what? Um, I saw an opportunity to bring in clothes, bring in something different. So yeah, material girls. Material girl because you know the original material girl is Madonna. Yeah. So I used to love Madonna and well the name resonated well with me and yeah. And here, here we are. It's such a catchy name, and yeah. I love how even after so many years, it's still such a beautiful name. I don't even want to change it. You shouldn't, and because it sells, already tells you that yeah, I'm trying to Why are you So moving to my next question, yeah. um, how would you describe the clothes that you sell in your store? Okay, classic, uh, high quality, luxurious, very edgy sometimes, uh, eye catching. You said it. Yeah. Timeless. Um, High end fashion. You know, yes. yes. And it's for a girl who just really loves to turn heads. It's not very ordinary. Very she true. likes to stand out. And also, she likes, she has a classic touch. She wants clothes that will last. Should I say a lifetime? True. Yeah. 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 I always see sometimes when I'm on Instagram and I see people say, "Oh, I bought this five years ago and it's still so beautiful." It's still happening to me. I'm still wearing clothes that I've had five years ago, six years ago, and I still step out and look so incredible. Beautiful. Yes. True. True. Interesting. So, Charity, you, um, how do I say this? You, you've never. I, the question is, have you always been open to wearing all these different kinds of clothes, you know, your pants, your skirts, your dresses, or were you reserved and then you developed this limitlessness? Um... I feel like style changes depending on where you are in life and how you feel. Well, my style, yeah. okay? 
I've always been a dressy kind of girl, like I would wear dresses all the time, day, night, whatever. But as I evolve, I'm venturing more into like pants, more of an edgier style. Sometimes it's more revealing, sometimes it's less revealing. It just really depends, but I like to just have a classic and unique touch and to my clothes. You always have a unique touch to your dress, you always have it. Now, Material Girls continue, I mean, has dressed and continues to dress celebrities and big brands um, for example Harriet Koza from The Queen um, and Encanta of my Piki Zor. so I wanted to know how, how did you score um, such big brands and how is this working with such people? My work speaks for itself you know what I mean? Yeah. so it's like I always use it just you know and you see Connie Ferguson just came in because she saw amazing pictures on Instagram and I think the best is yet to come. I, I trust you, we know the best is definitely yet yeah. to come. Mm -hmm. Now, you are a travel fanatic, you yeah. love traveling, you've been all over. Yeah. Why do you think traveling is important? Traveling is where I get my inspiration here. Um, I, I just, I love the scenery outside of my country. I love Europe, I love the stage, I love the fashion, I love, I love everything about being outside of my comfort zone. So that's where I get inspiration. In fact, when I stick around a lot, I kind of slip into... Oh yeah, you go down yeah, a bit, yeah. And so, like right now with the COVID things and we can't get around, sometimes I feel closed in and I feel like I can't do this, you yeah, know? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. So it, it, it's, it's a, fr a fresh of fresh air. You know, so. and some inspiration and I come back with a fresh mind, fresh perspective on life, you know. Ready to take on the world. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you very much. So um, as a travel fanatic um, and always being around and being outside of the country, um, you travel a lot to, like you said, outside of Africa. Uh -huh. And so those are long flights, you know, eight to yeah, nine yeah, flights. Yeah. So I want to know, you obviously want to dress comfortably. Yeah, yeah. So what um, what type of clothes do you find comfortable to travel in? Okay. Uh, the sky is also cold. So I don't find the plane uncomfortable. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so yes, uh, when I travel all the time, it's always tracksuits. I love tracksuits. I love matching sets. So all the damn time when I'm on the plane, you'll catch me wearing nice, Tracksuit and a sneaker, carrying a good bag. That's just oh, about that's it. Nice. Yes, that's nice. And you always look beautiful. I mean, comfortable for you is still beautiful. Yeah. So beautiful. So now I want to ask you. Yeah. What is your favorite um travel destination? Like, what's that one place that you just put your soul in? I love Italy. Yeah. You love Italy. Yeah, I, I love. Think also too. Yeah. I love the food. I love the culture, I love its fashion. After Italy, then maybe Paris. Oh, yeah. Paris. Yeah, after Paris, then go, go to the States. Then it's New York, it's your Miami, it's your Atlanta. But first, Italy. Yeah. Yeah. It's always been that. Before, yeah, Italy. Yeah. It's a very beautiful place. Yeah. Now, what is the most you, like I said we travel you travel a lot. So what is the most important thing or what are what are some of the things that you feel are very important to have when traveling or to pack? To pack. Yeah. Obviously you have to be comfortable. Obviously you have to have the clothes you're gonna wear when you step out. It's very important to get your high heels, get your evening dress, get your swimwear. Okay. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and then um just the basic stuff, you know, stuff that you're gonna dress up on. If you have to go sightseeing, you're gonna have to go to the mall for things like yeah. that. So it's yeah. also important to consider how your trip is gonna plan out, yeah. where you're gonna yeah. go. Yeah, so but also find you just get a nice touch, get your best clothes because you're gonna take lots of pictures and you want to look Look your back. best, your hey, level yeah. best. I don't know where I couldn't picture it until over again. I was there. <laughs> True. <laughs> so Charity, back in 2018, um, you had the privilege, the opportunity to attend um, the Paris Fashion Week, making you, I, I think, the first Motswana and one of the few Africans um, to do so. So how was that experience for you? You know what, those were one of the moments in my life that I will never forget, okay? Uh, it's in Paris Fashion Week that I made so many connections, I met so many people, and I learned a lot, you know? And you must remember, my vision for Material Girls is way beyond just my country or Africa yeah. or whatever. So when I went to Paris Fashion Week, it was that. It was 
so inspiring. It was like it was a dream come true, okay? And it was it was an opportunity for me to learn ways to take my brand forward. And international. Yeah. Yeah. And it was you were beautiful. I saw you like front row seat like you don't you don't down. No, yeah, no, yeah. no. Uh no. front row seat. <laughs> No the girl was there. I was, I, I yeah. was like, yeah, that's I our know. girl. <laughs> Hopefully, I can do that again. Yeah, you, you have get the chance you to do us, that again. And you made us so proud. Like, yeah. even if that's what we're going to do that. She's my girl, honey. I mean, <laughs> you don't doubt. Okay, now, what have you traveled with Excel? Yeah, yeah. 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 Yeah
quite a list of things I want to do to material goal because I had put the business on pause. Yeah. Obviously, I want a revamp. You know, uh, I don't. We are not. I don't have a physical store anymore. I want to go online. Uh, I want to have a studio in South Africa. Nice. Yeah, but it will be like an appointment only type of thing, not your walking. Your walking. Yeah. Actually. I want to have that. Uh, for now, it's it's just slowly coming back. Slowly building, you know. My winter collection is insane, by the way. I we know you. Yeah, it's, it's you. absolutely up there. So yeah, uh, that's coming up. That's lined up. So you know, I have, I have the plans. I really hope everything plans out yeah. the way I imagined it. Yeah. yeah. So guys, so, be on the lookout. So we must always be there for PG Media and Material Girls and Yara Charity to see what's going on. Yes. We will be Let there to see, to witness. So make sure you are there to witness. So now Charity, um, what advice do you have for anyone who wants to join the fashion industry? First of all, fashion has to be your thing. Fashion requires somebody with an, an eye. It's like a certain kind of eye. You don't go into fashion or boutiques or whatever just because everybody else is doing it. Otherwise, you just start or mimicking what other people are doing. Make sure you have an eye for this thing. I can't say this enough. You know, I see so many good things coming up and they don't do so well because they're not passionate. It's not what they're good at. You must do it if you're good at it. End Very of story, true. You yeah. know? And if you're good at it, you'll never give up. You know, and you'll persevere whatever that comes. And people will see it. It shines through when you're doing what you love. Very yeah. So, yeah. yeah, so do what you love. Go, if you are not into fashion, don't do fashion. But if you are, you have the eye, you heard it, go for it. Now, Charity, in, in, in just in closing, um, for anyone who wants to employ your services or for anyone who wants to um, get a hold of you in terms of your clothes and other, how can people reach you? Obviously, my website which will be live. I'm still working on that. It's yeah. still a work in progress because I have to get everything right. It has to be a safe and secure place to shop. True. So obviously, now going forward, I think in a couple of weeks, if you want to get hold of me, if you want to buy my stuff, just go on the website and do that. But for now, it's still my Instagram. Hit both of them, both my Instagram pages. My assistant is managing my shop page, and you can even contact me on my page. I'm always there. Online, I yeah. Know. yeah. She's always on. <laughs> Nice, so go Facebook, there. Whatever. Yeah. Yeah, yeah Facebook the material girls. I'm always tweeting. Yeah, you're always tweeting. You know. Yeah. So charity, um, thank you so much. Thank you so much. It has been amazing. I'm truly grateful. It, it's been nice chatting to you. It's really been nice. So in closing, is there anything you want to say? Nothing much except to say I'm so happy. Just for one I'm really happy. I've always wanted to meet you and yeah. you know when you agreed to do this interview I was going and saying I told everybody, all my friends, I did videos, yeah. I went live. Yeah. I, it was I'm excited. Yeah. I'm excited. I'm really not that way my husband is like, George. Oh, oh, wait, meet you. Oh, it's nice. Yeah. So please greet him for us. Yeah. yeah, thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you so much. Thank you. Appreciate it. I 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 app